What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to find the shortest side of two connected triangles, right? So here you can see we have two triangles. We have this triangle, QPR, that's basically an isosceles triangle on its side. And then we also have this right triangle, right? QRS. And you can see we have the right angle right there. Now, the first thing you wanna do is always find all the missing angles. So let's start with this isosceles triangle. Well, one thing we know about isosceles triangles is that when the two sides right here are congruent, that means the angles are also congruent, okay? Now, remember, all the inside angles of any triangle always add up to 180 degrees, right? So if we did 180 minus the one we already know, 30, that's equal to 150, all right? So these two angles, this one and this one, have to add up to 150. And we also know that they're the same angle, right? So we could just say 150 divided by two, and that's equal to 75, right? So that means this angle is 75 degrees, and this angle is 75 degrees, okay? Now, in order to find uh, this last missing angle, remember, this is a right triangle, so that means this guy is 90 degrees right here, and we already have 40 right here, so then this one must be 50 degrees. Okay, now the next thing we have to do is just find the shortest side on each triangle. So if we look at the isosceles triangle again, the shortest side always comes from the smallest angle. So as you can see, the smallest angle is this one right here at the 30 degrees, right? So right here at angle P. And this angle opens up to this side over here. Okay, so the shortest side of this isosceles triangle is this segment right here from Q to R. Now, the shortest side on the right triangle, again, comes from the smallest angle, so that would be 40 degrees in this case, right? So this would be angle Q up here. And this angle opens up to this opposite side, from R to S. Okay, so now that we found the two shortest sides, we just need to compare them. So we need to compare this side right here, QR, and the bottom side over here, which again is RS. So which side is shorter between those two? Well, at this point, you just wanna concentrate on the triangle that has the two sides that you're comparing, okay? So for instance, this side QR and this bottom side RS are both part of the right triangle. So we can basically just ignore this isosceles triangle, okay? We're not focusing on this side anymore. All we're doing is focusing in on the two short sides right here, okay? So again, the smallest angle opens up to the smallest side. So 40 degrees opens up to RS, and then on this side over here, we basically have 50 degrees, right? This angle right here at S opens up to this side over here from Q to R. So since 40 degrees, is less than 50 degrees, that means this side RS is smaller than this side QR, right? So the shortest side of this entire problem, these two triangles, is this segment from R to S. All right, here's the next example. So remember, we wanna fill in all the missing angles first, right? So first of all, this angle up here, let's see, we have 110, here we have uh, 32. So they all have to add up to 180, so that means this angle must be 38 degrees, okay? And then on this triangle over here, DBA, uh, this is 114, this is 30, so then this angle up here must be 36 degrees, okay? So now all the interior angles here and here, they each add up to 180 degrees, okay? So again, that's the first step. The second step is now just finding the shortest side of each triangle. So for this triangle, CBD, the shortest side comes from the smallest angle, right? So that'd be 32 degrees. So this angle over here opens up to the opposite side, CD, okay? Now, uh, what about this other triangle, DBA? So the smallest angle right here would be right here at A, right? So this angle opens up to the opposite side, which is this segment right here from D to B. Okay, so now again, we just wanna look at the single triangle that has the two, side, the two shorter sides that we're looking at 
in common, right? So in this case, it would be triangle CDB. So we can ignore this triangle over here, DBA, right? I'm just gonna kinda cross it out a little bit again so we can focus on the main triangle that we're looking at. Okay, now again, to find the shortest side, we just need to find the smallest angle. So that'd be 32 degrees right here, right? So this angle right here opens up to this opposite side from C to D, all right? So then CD would be the shortest segment out of these two triangles. All right, here's the last example. So again, we have our two triangles right here, and we just want to fill in the missing angles first. So for X, W, Y, we have 48, we have 47, so that means this one must be 85 degrees. Okay, and then for this angle over here, this is 95, this is 40, so then this one must be 45 degrees. Okay, cool. So now that we found the missing angles, the next thing again is just trying to find the shortest side of each triangle. So starting with X, W, Y, the shortest side comes from the smallest angle, right? So that'd be this 47 degrees right here. So this 47 degrees opens up to this side from X to Y, okay? And then on this triangle over here, uh, W, Y, Z, the shortest angle is this or smallest angle is this 40 degrees, right? So this 40 degree angle opens up to the opposite side. So from W to Y, okay? So again, now that we have our two smallest sides marked out, uh, now we can just focus on this triangle, right? So again, we can now just ignore the other triangle because it's basically irrelevant at this point. Okay, now again, the smallest side comes from the smallest angle. So the smallest angle is this 47 degree right here at W, which again, opens up to the opposite side from X to Y. So then in this problem, X, Y would be our shortest side. Boom. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or wanna see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.